Um, first of all, sincerest apologies. I That's guess okay. I got overwhelmed. You got, you um, got excited. <laughs> my name is Maria Manir, and uh -huh. um, you've been speaking a lot about how you know we have to become the change that we want to right. see. Um, and you've spoken about progress, about human rights, and about how we in the US and the UK need to lead in terms of civil rights movements and LGBTQ issues. Now, I'm about to do something terrifying, which is I'm coming out to you as a, a non-binary person, which means that I don't fit within... I'm getting emotional. I'm so sorry. Well, okay. Um, <laughs> because... I come from a, I, I'm from a Pakistani Muslim background, which inevitably has cultural implications. And I know that in North Carolina recently with the bathroom bill, um, people are being forced to obviously produce birth certificates to prove their gender in order to go to the toilet. In the UK, we don't recognize uh, non-binary people under the Equality Act. So we literally have no rights. So if there was any discrimination, there's nothing we can do. I've been working for the last nine months with the UK Civil Service Fast Stream with Gillian Smith in order to do what I can, even though I'm still at university and running for local election at the same time in Watford, um, I've managed to get them to respect pronouns. I've managed to get them to um, commit to gender neutral toilets and these are things I've done as a student and I really really wish that yourself and David Cameron would take us seriously as transgender people and um, perhaps you could elucidate as to what you can do to go beyond what has been accepted as the LGBTQ rights movement in, in including people who fit outside the social norms. Well look I, I think that uh First of all, that wasn't that crazy. I, th I thought you I thought you were gonna I thought you were gonna ask to come up here and you know dance with me or something. Or, <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, but uh, but look, I, I, I'm I'm incredibly proud of uh, uh, the steps. It sounds like you've already taken to to speak out about your own experience and then to try to create a social movement uh, and, and change laws. Uh, it sounds to me like you're on the right track. Uh, I can't speak for David Cameron, although I, I, I will say that on LGBT issues, I think David's been ahead of the, the curve uh, relative to uh, a, a lot of other leaders uh, around the world and, and even here in the UK. Uh, I can say from my perspective that uh, we're taking a lot of serious steps uh, to address these issues. Uh, within the federal government. The challenge we've had is North Carolina, the law that comes up, for example, uh, that's a state law. And because of our system of government, I can't overturn on my own st state laws unless uh, a federal law is passed that uh, prohibits states from doing these things. And with the Congress I currently have, that's not likely to happen. Um, <laughs> But we're doing a lot of work administratively. And as I said, you should feel encouraged just by virtue of the fact that I think social attitudes on this issue have changed faster than I've, I've seen on any other issue. Um, it, it, won't, it doesn't feel fast enough for you uh, or for those who are impacted, and that's good. You shouldn't feel satisfied. Uh, you should keep pushing. Um, but I think the trend lines are good on this. Uh, we're, we're moving in the right direction, and in part because of uh, courageous and uh, active young people like yourself. So stick with it. All right. Uh, let's see. Gentleman, the green here. 